Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Adonis and in module three, we're identifying your backend buyer. Now knowing your buyer's criteria or their sweet spot is key to selling your next wholesale deal. Once you have a handful of deals closed, you'll quickly identify who your reliable, but more importantly, your more consistent buyers are. Now, the best way to continuously bring consistent buyers is understand their buying criteria or their sweet spot. But what exactly does that mean? Essentially, the first things you want to ask is what is the total amount of money they want to invest in a single deal? What percent of market value do they want to stay at or below? Of course, what is their desired location, location, location? Are they willing to buy in distressed areas or do they want to buy in transitional or already established neighborhoods? Are they looking to buy and hold rental properties? Are they looking to buy to fix and flip to sell to someone else? Or are they looking to buy from you to wholesale to someone else? And if they are, that's okay, but that's just information you'd want to know early in the process. Now, it's also important to know how they conduct business. Not only do you want to know what they're looking for, but you also want to know how they're going to go about getting to the end of the transaction. For example, are they buying with cash or are they using a loan? Are there any property condition restrictions with their financing? Do they need an inspection or an inspection period? Do they need an appraisal? Are they trying to get this deal sold to someone else? And again, if that is the case, that's okay. You guys just need to communicate that at the beginning of the transaction. Are they buying to live in the house themselves? Do they have requirements about the contracts that you use or the title company that's going to close the deal? Now, if they are specific about their title company, that's okay. Just make sure that that is communicated so there is no confusion at the later part of the transaction. It is truly important to get to know your back-end buyers, not only to make sure you have a successful transaction, but also the benefits that come to you as a wholesaler. That allows you to pursue properties that are specific to their buying criteria, which means you can be more confident in the properties that you're looking to secure because you know that you already have a buyer in place to purchase. They can also help you close multiple transactions with only a small number of people because you know exactly who your back-end buyer is. This allows you to perform a more focused marketing, which ultimately will reduce your total marketing costs. Now, some of the benefits that come with establishing relationships with your buyers include reducing the formality that comes with a standard wholesale transaction. They can also refer you to other buyers on deals that they pass on, which allows you to continue to grow your wholesale business. They can also provide additional resources, such as vendors or other markets that are transitioning, which again allows you to continue to grow your wholesale business. Now, one of the cool things that does happen is when you establish a long-term relationship with your buyer, if you make the decision to transition into a different strategy, such as flipping or rentals, an investor that you've been selling deals to may ultimately be a partner that you do your next flip or a rental property with. My name's Adonis. Thanks for watching Module 3, and we'll see you next time.